Hey everyone. Oh man, so I forever ago now. This is I think this footage is from early November or somewhere in there. Actually I can just take a look because I'm in this this is all obviously in post. Uh yeah, this was in this is on uh the day that they released Halo's multiplayer, so the fifteenth. Um hey, I've I've been stuck on this one for a little bit because my mic audio is completely dead for from this and the next episode and each episode was about two and a half hours of recording time and without having anything i said be there to go on there as an edit i kind of just froze up um something that i've always kind of had a hard time with is like i've talked about before i self-edit when i'm when I'm recording. Like, if I know I'm going to cut something out, I stop talking and stuff. But I... Just... I guess I had just, like, a huge mental block with this. Um, because it was so daunting to think of, well, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? I cut it down as much as I could, so there's going to be a lot of random, like, jump cuts in this. Because I took out all of the extremely boring stuff. Um... But, yeah... Um... I sped it up by four times after chopping all that out, so it's about 20 minutes now. Uh, I, can, I think I can handle that. I just can't handle... I don't know. It was it was a very long time of me being in a ADHD roadblock on this one, just completely frozen up. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a little bit since I've done anything with Satisfactory on the channel. I still playing it, as always. Um, although Dauntless has been my my love currently, just because I like smacking a monster in the face every once in a while. Um, but definitely have not forgotten about Satisfactory. It's been a weird... It's been a weird couple months. Like, November and December were so rough mentally. Just with everything that was going on, both life-wise and everything else, and... The last two days have been a nightmare in terms of how much shit we've had to do. <laughs> like, yesterday, Sam and I had to go get money order for uh, one of the application fees for an apartment. And it snowed in Seattle. And uh, if you don't live up here, you don't know what that means. Because me, I'm from Michigan. Snow is nothing. Like, snow is something that is handled very well. It's not uh, handled out here very well. Uh, the entirety of Seattle shut down for about a week, uh, meaning we missed our first application window. Uh, it was supposed to be last week, uh, Sunday. It is, it is currently Sunday, uh, the third, uh, second. It's after midnight, so it's technically Monday. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it, it's the second right now. We were supposed to sign it last week the day after Christmas. Um, and that was the day it snowed, and literally the entire city shut down. So <laughs> when we went to go get a money order to pay for this thing yesterday, we had to go walk the nearly three miles, which was not great on my leg. Um, we had to walk that, that whole distance to get to uh, a, a place that did money orders because we called the one that would be right next to the place that we were applying to and it was like, ah, yeah, sorry, our Western Union thing is down so you're going to have to go somewhere else. So that's what we did. And then after all that fun, then we had the, uh, the great fun of doing the actual application process, which that takes forever if you've never applied for an apartment. Like, it's not fun. <laughs> it takes a long fucking time. Um, but yeah, so we did that, and hopefully that place is, uh, is it gonna be ours on, um, by the end of this month. Oh, I really love it. It's new construction, like, it's literally in the middle of being built right now. The the apartments open up on the... 
I actually don't know what day they open up. They open up this month. Like, they're not even open for residents yet. Uh, so new construction and fully furnished appliances. Well, not furnished, but, like, full appliances, including a dishwasher. I've never lived in a house with a dishwasher. Uh, that I could use, at least. Um, so that's fun. And then, yeah, just... It's, it's gonna be nice. So I'm hoping that we get that. We'll hear back about that hopefully by the end of this week. I I have a feeling we'll get it, but just in case we have like six other applications in at other places. Did you know that applying for apartments is extremely expensive uh, when you're applying for like six of them and they all cost 20 or $30 a piece per person to apply? So you're spending 40 to $60 every single time you apply because you have two people. It's not fun. Uh, yeah, I, um, oh God, this is when I was about to start doing some very bad piping and I just said, no, fuck it. We aren't showing that. That's all awful. Um, but yeah, we did that and I'm really hoping we get it. And I'm hoping all the stuff works out timing wise because, oh God, um, Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't think what else has been happening. I don't... I have not really been keeping track of my life over the last two months. Because I, I haven't recorded much of... I've recorded like a couple indie bins and stuff over the last couple weeks. But it's been all packing and apartment hunting for the last three weeks now. <laughs> So, basically, since I finished recording Halo, uh, that was when I started doing that. Um, but yeah, it's been... It's been a lot, but it's been good. Hopefully, um, hopefully when we move, it'll be a lot easier to do stuff. We're gonna have... Basically, I'm turning the living room into an office, and there's a... In the apartments we're looking at, it's one big central room that is the kitchen and living room. And I'm going to get a little wheelie cart. And that's what I'm going to put my computer and everything on. And I have a spare monitor. Well, it's not a monitor. It's a screen from my old laptop that I then bought a control board for. That stays plugged into my Raspberry Pi 90% of the time. But I'm just going to hook that up on the cart. And then I'm going to have cables long enough from uh, power and ethernet that I can just roll the cart from behind my desk over to the kitchen. And I can finally, something I've been dreaming of doing for literally years and thought I would be able to do here, but it was too much of a nightmare to try to get my computer up and down a flight of stairs, as well as camera and microphone and cables and keyboard and mouse and everything. It just, it just wouldn't happen here, so I never did any cooking streams, but I can when we move, because I'm just going to take the main area of the house as my recording area, and then Sam's going to have, basically I'm putting him halfway in, uh, I'm going to split the living room in half, and he's going to have his side of the living room with a, like, art table so he can do stuff, and then I'm going to have the other half of the living room with for recording and decorating how I need to and for all that kind of shit I have to figure out where I'm gonna put the fucking I was actually funny because when I was talking to the leasing agent I was like oh hey there's a perfect space in the laundry nook in the apartment to fit a 3d printer and she's like wait what what does that even entail I'm like oh and I just had to explain like the little 3d printer I have and she's like that's really cool and then she started printing something and was like, oh, sorry, I know this noise is really grating. I'm like, this is like music compared to a 3D printer, don't worry. Those things are like a combination of a paper printer and a old dial-up modem, I think is how Sam uh, compared them. But yeah, we, uh... oh man. I forgot, yeah, I have to delete all of this because I fucked up. Or something. Oh no, no, I was counting, that's what it was. But yeah, we, uh... We did all that today. It was good. It, it... She seemed pretty certain that we will have no problem getting the apartment. And the move-in date is a little bit 
suspect. Uh, <laughs> move-in date is, uh, we need to move in by the 31st. She was saying that there won't be a move-in until February 15th, but she's going to try to push us up, and I'm like, okay, uh, I really hope we don't have to find a place to crash for two weeks, because that, um, that won't be fun. Uh, but yeah, there's that, and then we've been streaming, as always. Uh, I am actually the whole reason I'm doing this is because I am currently in the middle of editing down the uh, Game of the Year stream where Sam and I went over Game of the Year stuff and figured out the game, our games of the year for the channel and everything. We have our personal lists and stuff, but I mean, it's already out there. Uh, our Game of the Year is Adios, which is still weird to think that that came out in 2021, but it, yeah... It was very good. It was, it was very good. Uh, well, we, 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 we copied Giant Bomb's older style and went about making lists for different categories and then a final Game of the Year list. And so yeah, our, our Game of the Year was Adios with Solar Ash at 2, Before Your Eyes, Psychonauts 2, Inscription, Unpacking, Hitchhiker, Gardener and the Wild Vines, Halo Infinite, and an airport for aliens currently run by dogs, with an honorable mention for Unsighted, because I have not finished Unsighted yet. I I would have switched an airport for aliens currently run by dogs if I had finished Unsighted. But since I did finish that one, and I did love that game a lot, I do genuinely think it is one of my favorite games of the year. Um Yeah, the uh the main why was I doing it like this sorry it is like I said it's after midnight I'm very tired <laughs> today was it's it's been a very tiring couple days um well, I just saw myself screw up there um I think this is me realizing that I screwed up or something I don't remember this was months ago I don't know anything anymore <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, I, uh, I liked our Game of the Year list, it was, it felt, yeah, this is me realizing I fucked up and I put the wrong, the wrong machine in there, um, but yeah, I, I think the best game of last year was absolutely adios, like, that was, I'm fairly certain Sam and I came in there knowing what it was. Also, I think this is the wrong machine still, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Um, 2021 was ridiculously good. We had... By the end of the by the end of the stream, after collecting all the games that we liked, we had was it 40, 40 games on the list, and then on top of that, the uh, there was a couple more that like got thrown in by uh, Lexi and Nep near the end, where I was just like, oh, I've completely forgot about about that game. There's some others that we, like, never really considered that we probably should have, but still, the list that we made is still would have been the list that we made, even if we had remembered those. But I still would have probably given them some shout-outs during some other categories. But, yeah, it's been a... It's been a good time. I don't know. I, uh... I am very, very much hoping that we get that apartment that we looked at today. If we don't, I will be... Not gonna sad. Not, I'm not gonna lie. A little sad. Because it was, a. Uh, the area that it's in is also kind of perfect and amazing for us. Everything that we could need is in walking distance. And I mean... Everything. There is... 
<laughs> okay, not not everything. I think I would still have to go outside of our block for like medical appointments. But no, there is a clinic on the street. The only thing I'd have to go is I think dental and like eyes. That's the only thing I couldn't do basic stuff. But there's a major grocery store literally two buildings down from the apartment complex and I mean like from the from the front doors of the apartment complex it is a three minute walk to a major store um in the uh there's a McDonald's right next to us there's a Taco Bell and a KFC there's a subway there's a pho place. There's a local pizza place, like a little tiny local pizza place. There is a bodega, which technically not a bodega because it's not in New York, but you know what? You, you know exactly what I mean. And also, black owned. Like most of the businesses there are black owned, um, because it is quite literally on the edge of the Ethiopian district of Seattle. And so there's a million Ethiopian stores and restaurants and stuff. When I say down the street, I don't mean like, you know, a quick drive or something. I mean like within a five minute walk of the front door. And the unit we applied for is actually, a dis di uh, it's not specifically a disability accessible unit. Like there are some at the place, but it is in a very good spot for someone like me who needs the help where the elevator for the complex is two doors away from where our door will be um the garbage and recycling chutes are just outside our door and they have um they actually have like a bunch of really cool programs the the because it's the place that we're renting from is like a low income type thing it's 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 like fixed rent type thing so it's not twenty seven hundred dollars for a studio like a lot of places in seattle like to charge i'm not kidding we've been apartment hunting there are studios not even in downtown seattle but like in just seattle like the surrounding areas and again not even like near the schools or something <laughs> but there are some that started like twenty seven hundred dollars for a studio let alone like a one bedroom apartment. So the fact that it is like within a certain level and that is because it is rent controlled, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care if there's income restrictions. Like, and it's not minimum income, it's maximum income restrictions, which we fall in, so it's fine. But they uh, they also offer like health services, like like actual, like you can get a personal trainer just like for a and from what I can tell a really 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 decent rate like I think it was 10 bucks a month added to your rent per person who wants to see the personal trainer um, they have financial planning because I guess it's also like a outreach program on top of that it's like not a rehab place or anything but like they're basically like yeah we want people to continue living here we don't want people to get fucked over like the lady was like yeah no I know you have really bad credit and basically no rental history because of your credit, but we're, that just means you'll have to pay a deposit, which we can also do a, like, split it across a few rent payments instead of paying all of it at once, which is cool. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about here. I think I was talking about trying to make a, oh, I was discovering the map here. This I discovered all these map changes right now. But yeah, they, they want people to stay there. They don't want people to end up losing their places and getting fucked over and stuff like that. So they have all these like different services that you can like that are either free or very cheap and stuff like that, which is kind of cool because if I can get a personal trainer to help out with my leg and I can maybe get that a little bit stronger, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, they, they have all these cool programs and stuff and the rent is not cheap, but it is cheap in comparison to the rest of the city. Yeah, I will not say that it is cheap. It is still over a thousand dollars a month for a one bedroom, which is still ridiculous. 
Uh, I don't want to say how much our rent is. Ah, fuck it, the rent's two twelve sixty six a month. It's not. It's not cheap for one person. Um. And and that is all we have. We have we have Sam's income. That's it. Um. But you know. Oh, me talking about the pop in. Um. Which was not complaining about the pop in. I like the pop in. But yeah, like. That's, that's not cheap. Rent is so fucking expensive, especially out here. It's like, we're like the, what's the third, second or third highest cost city. I think, I think Seattle is now like almost tied with or getting close to New York because I know New York is under San Francisco now. It's ridiculous either way. It, Seattle's fucking too expensive. But yeah, it's been fun getting all that figured out, you know? Um, but yeah, I like... I like the area. I like the people that we met. And... Hopefully it works out. But, yeah. That's that's all. I just need something to ramble about. Y'all have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you next time with Stuff from the Past. <laughs> <laughs>